Hello everyone, today we're back for a brand new Spider-Man tutorial where I'll teach you how to do, you know, the mechanical lenses effect from my Unmasked short film, which I strongly advise you to go watch if you haven't. But without any further ado, let's get started. So here in this composition, I've got the effect. Pretty cool, but since it's a tutorial, we're going to be starting from scratch. So let me delete whatever is on here. And there we go. That's the raw footage that you guys should have. Try to keep it, you know, pretty stable. But yeah, that's the footage. The first step is to make a mask. As you can see, it's what I deleted previously. So just make a square, circle, whatever you guys want. Any shape will work. And let's make a pre-composition. Yeah, pre-compose it and name this mask. And you move all attributes. And then you go tracker, track camera, and you wait. In the meanwhile, you know, if you like this type of content, please subscribe, put a like to this video and the others. And um, let me know in the comments what type of videos you want me to make, like what tutorials or even like if you want more short films. But yeah, so now that it's tracked, you want to go ahead and select all the dots. Like so. And go create solid and camera. Now go back into the mask comp, go to the mask and delete this. Perfect. Now we've got a beautiful square tracked onto our lens. But you know, that's not the effect. So let's actually duplicate the mask layer. Oops. There we go. And rename that bottom layer to background like so. Duplicate this mask layer and rename this to Alpha Matte. Now that we've got this, we can just duplicate this as well. And we're going to rename this to Lens Frame. Perfect. Then you want to go to the beginning right here. And onto Alpha Matte, you want to go ahead to Time, Time. Uh, freeze frame and same for the lens. So time, freeze frame. Perfect, beautiful. So you get this message, that's normal, just delete the tracker on alpha mat as well. And we should be good to go. So delete on the background too, you don't need it. And on mask also, boom. Now that this is done, Let's actually turn off the background, turn off lens frame and work on the alpha mat. So you want to go ahead and zoom in your eye. And what we're going to do is go ahead and do a quick mask of the white mesh. It doesn't have to be, you know, super precise, but the more precise it is, the better result you're going to get. So yeah, just make sure you get a decent shape, just like so. And now that you've done this, let's go to the effects, tint, Put it on alpha mat and make this black white and go on this tool i don't know what it's called but basically you want to move up oh, it's saving by itself and there it goes so you want to get this little round thing and put it in the middle of the eye now that you've done this you should be able to go to this mode and put the little cube which should make the white part move along with the lens. You know, as you can see, there's some part, you know, that's uncovered. So you wanna upscale, you know, that white mesh, like so. Beautiful. Now that you've got this, let's make everything smaller and you wanna change the modes. And on mask, see right here, mask, change this to alpha matte inverted. Boom, now we get a hole. But that's no big deal since we have the background layer, remember? So that's exactly what we want. Next step, you're going to go to lens frame. Okay. And like the name says it, you're just going to turn on the layer first, kind of obvious. But most importantly, we're going to make a mask of the lens itself. Just like so. Okay. For this same, you know, you can be precise, but here, this will do just fine. Perfect. Okay. And once you've done this, you do a second mask around the white mesh, 
same as the last one, like so. And almost done. Boom, perfect. Maybe yeah, it's, it's revealing a bit of the white, so make sure you extend it. You know, you don't wanna have any extra stuff going on. Uh, yeah, this should be fine. Then go to the masks and make that second mask we just made to subtract. And yeah, perfect. Now that we have this, same, switch it to that little cube and it should track exactly how we want it. So just make everything smaller and on the lens frame, get rid of the cube. And you wanna go ahead and select this little dot, same, put it in the middle and then turn on the 3D layer back on. And now we can turn on the background. So now you go like, uh, okay, what's the point of it? You know, there's still the same eye, nothing is moving. Well, actually you're gonna take your lens frame, okay? And you're gonna move this under the mask. So basically that's gonna hide it under, you know, the layer we did. And now check this out. If you make the scale smaller, boom you have a smaller lens. So actually, see right now, it's like it got smaller. So you wanna go ahead and get, let's go to the 13th frame, it could be any. And set a keyframe for its scale. Then go a few frames before and just scale it up a bunch until, you know, we don't see it. And now check this out. Boom, closing eye. To make it a bit more realistic, make it a bit faster or yeah, I think that's fine. But most importantly, add the motion blur. So we want to add motion blur to this layer as well. And normally, boom, there we go. You have a moving eye. So that's for the basic effect that I've done in the film. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to add more detail to it though, there's a little bonus. You want to get the lens frame, okay? Duplicate this and actually, what you want to do is go ahead and go to the first lens frame, same tint effect, but you want to make this all black. Then go into Gaussian blur, drop this in and scale this up. And as you can tell, this is adding a shadow like so. And so it looks a lot more realistic. See, it's like, Boom. I actually didn't do that in the short film. I should have done it, but yeah, here's the little bonus tip. And you would just want to replicate this, you know, onto the other eye. And that's how you get an effect similar to this, which looks pretty cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, don't forget to like the video, share it, subscribe, all the stuff. And I'll see you guys next time for another video. Ciao.